This is Lauren, or as most know her, Scary Girl. She was one of the campers who competed in Total Drama Island The Reboot. Most known for her creepy yet funny personality and unique look, she quickly became a fan favorite. But the real question is, how good was actually Scary Girl on Total Drama Island? In this video, I will go through her entire journey through both seasons and look deeper into her social, strategy, and challenge performance. At the end of the video, she will receive a grade from me on a scale from F to S+. Remember, this video will only look at the competitive side of the show, so humor doesn't really matter unless it affects the game. If you want more of these kinds of videos, comment down below who you want next. Before we look into Scary Girl, I just want to give a quick shout out to my new Patreon that is now online. We are already over 50 members, so join now, which you can do for free to get early access and more content such as icons. For example, this Harley Quinn Scary Girl icon, which will be available soon. So let's begin with the video. We will start by putting all her attributes to an E grade since it's the lowest grade for approval. Scary Girl was the seventh contestant to arrive at the island and put into the ferocious trouts. She had a very creepy introduction, but luckily no one saw that. Then she asked if she could swap to the team with death in the name. Luckily, most of the ferocious trouts were kind of distracted, so no one really bothered about that comment. She then scared away Priya when choosing a bunk bed. This is Scary Girl's first bad move, as we can already see how her personality affects her social game. Much doesn't happen with Scary Girl in this episode, as her role in the challenge was very minor, just like many other. In the next episode, Scary Girl starts the episode by eating food on the ground. However, since Z was the only one who noticed her, and this doesn't really have an impact, as he is pretty chill about it. So during the challenge, she is one of the few who did not vote for Axel to be the team captain. Did she want Ripper or did she just not care? I don't know. She then helps Damien by hitting the shark and also warns him about one. And this causes Damien to be grateful for her. I would say this was a good move by Scary Girl, so I will bump her social score up again. Later, she is shown to be able to do some good stuff like catching the rolling cabbages, as well as avoiding a few of them. Her last moment in the challenge is coming up with the idea of ramming the opponent's ship. Although risky, it is a pretty smart idea. So I will also bump her strategy up a grade. In the next episode, she kind of goes under the radar for most of the episode. She has a moment where she wants to bite Ripper, but it isn't such a big deal. She is going last because Ripper thinks she is the weakest. So once it's her turn, she does outstanding in the challenge, which impresses her teammates in a good way. So I will bump her challenge performance up two stages as they have been pretty good so far. No flaws. And this one was excellent. Since she also impressed them, I will improve her social stage, as now people think more highly of her, as we can see in the next episode. At the start of the next episode, we can see that Priya is in need of another Alliance member. She settles in for Scary Girl, mostly because there aren't many options, but tries to make a connection for Scary Girl's good performance in the previous challenge. However, since her personality is slightly a hindrance, it doesn't really go that well. In the end, she kinda tries to kill Priya. Together with her skull obsession comments before the challenge, I do sadly have to bump her social grade down. For the challenge, she does well in the start. Picking the jackhammer was good, even if it wasn't an option. She managed to scare away the frogs of death during their first attack. However, she kinda gets off course, and instead of scaring them, she kinda wants to kill them. She is now not focused on the challenge anymore and wants to hunt MK down. It wasn't such a big deal when she chased MK as one member from each team was away but then she started chasing Damien, giving her own team a huge disadvantage. This is sadly Scary Girl's first flaw in a challenge, so I must bump that down. She then does another huge mistake that will cost them the win. She does somehow get in touch with the skull first. However, she got distracted and wanted to make it her friend, so I again have to bump her challenge grade down. Going into the elimination Scary Girl was already on the chopping block because of what she did, so only something smart could save her. Despite not liking Priya, she decides to stick with her alliance because she knows that's the only way she can stay. So I will give her a score in strategy as she is able to see who she must work with to stay, despite her relationship with Priya. And there aren't many this season that tries to pivot to different options as most of them are stuck with one person the entire season. Unfortunately, she does get eliminated as Millie wasn't voting with them and Damien voted for himself so they didn't have the numbers to save her. She returns to the next season, this time with a new outfit and personality. This time she is normal girl. After last season, people found her creepy, so she decided to be normal and not scary. You might think this is weird, but looking from a game perspective, this is actually very good. She was able to see what hindered her last season and decided to improve and change things that wasn't working. 
Usually people just come back and play like they did the last season. But Scary Girl is one of the few that prepared for their next season. So I will actually bump her strategy score up again. As for the challenge, she did very decent. She came pretty much in the middle and only lost because of a bad call from Wayne that she decided to follow. Sadly, her team lost and it was looking great for Normal Girl. But sadly, Chef had to mention her name as Scary Girl. She got upset and dished out all her secrets like how she stalks and watch them sleep. This has obviously made her creepy and creepier. And now everyone is scared of her. And that was her demise as she got eliminated first in season two. So in summary, Scary Girl was a weird contestant, despite that she did very well in challenges, almost performed good in all of them, except one which was the one she had the most flaws in. She is also quite smart, being able to pivot to different groups to survive as well as improve and prepare for the next season. Her biggest flaw was her personality. As she is kinda creepy, she wasn't really able to connect with them, thus hindering many of her interactions, which we can see from her early eliminations. So overall, I will give her a D, with her social game being her worst trait with a F grade. So, what do you think of Scary Girl competitively? Was she actually good? Well, not really. Do you want to see more of these kinds of videos comment who is next? I will also do older generations if you want. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more. Also remember to join my Patreon. It's time to end this video. Bye bye.